Essentially, this is what we will be creating. So these are all the keywords I pasted in. And this is how uh, the script, all the, all the keywords I've pasted in. And this is how the script has grouped them, as you can see. And these are all the keywords per group. And so now keyword clustering is a big part of your content strategy. If you're not able to cluster keywords, your ability to know what keywords belong to a single article or a piece of content is difficult. The other reason why you'd want to cluster keywords is you have a whole list of keywords. Let's say you have a thousand keywords and you want to make sure that if before you start writing content, all the keywords that are similar are clustered. So, you know, a thousand keywords can be clustered down to maybe a hundred clusters and that's a lot easier to manage. And then you can verify those clusters and, you know, come up with a content strategy based on those clusters and start writing articles. The other reason why you'd also want to cluster or cluster keywords is because it's also part of your topical mapping strategy. Regardless of how you create topical maps, a, a cluster is important to have. And that's with the, it's one of the first steps towards creating a topical map. Now, so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cluster keywords for free using a Google app script. It's very easy to do. The link for the app script is in the description and you can just copy and paste the app script. You will also have to sign up for an API. We'll go into all of that in this video. Um, before I do, I also do a SEO for a living. There's a link in the description to contact me. Click the link, fill out the form, and I will get in touch with you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is how the clusters will look. This is the master cluster. So this is how it's, these are mainly the headers for all of these, uh, for this cluster. So the cluster group here is square foot. And the keywords here are part of this cluster. This is another cluster that's created. And it's gone ahead and created all the clusters for all the keywords you see here on the left. Um, and so what I do is, is I use a script and I use an API call. Um, I already showed you how to, to create an account and so that you will generate an API. Once the API is generated, you copy and paste this script over here. You scroll right down to line number 22 and you paste in your API key here real quick. You save this, you give this a name, and then you go here into your sheets. You click here, you put in this formula, which will also be available on my website. So you can go there and, you know, just copy and paste. So this is mainly the formula. It says, I want all the keywords clustered from A2 right down to A1000. And so the limitation here is that they can only cluster a thousand keywords at a time. So you'll have to select a thousand keywords, cluster it, that's like another thousand keywords, and you get up to like 20,000, um, 20,000 times you can do this uh, with this API. And so it's, it's really unlimited if you're not an agency like mine, you can cluster quite a few keywords for free with doing this. And I think this is a great script that you can use to, especially if you're planning out articles and you have a bunch of keywords, you want to send something to the client, or you want to just find out what articles to write. So you can go ahead and you can start with this cluster. You go, okay, so I probably write an article about square foot office cleaning. I can also write an article about cleaning companies. Um, and then make sure that all of these keywords are included in the article. And so this is how the script works. But there's a little, little bit of limitation to this. And the limitation is that you only can do a thousand keywords. And the second limitation is that uh, the way it clusters these keywords is not perfect. So you'll have to check all the clusters manually. Um, but then again, no clustering software is uh, perfect. And you always have to check the keywords in the cluster to make sure that you don't have unrelated keywords. Also, these keywords are not clustered based on SERPs. These keywords are clustered based on um, their meaning and how they're associated with each other. And so I think this is a more effective way of clustering keywords, especially if you want to write articles, um, even for SEO purposes. So there you go, folks. This is a quick and easy way to cluster a thousand keywords within a, within a few seconds using Google Apps Script. If you have a question, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. Uh, as always, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.